Oh, hello guys. So many of you might remember, but Linux Mint used to have this KDE version, but they discontinued a few years ago. But now I still see people miss it and still people asking for returning the KDE version. And until this happens, I'm gonna show you how to install the KDE desktop and KDE Plasma desktop environment in the Linux Mint. So let's get to it. Okay, so I have prepared a little virtual machine of the Linux Mint. Now let's get started with the installation of the KDE Plasma desktop. First, open the terminal as usual and where when it comes to installing the KDE desktop on Ubuntu there is well couple of versions I'm gonna sh well I'm gonna mention all of them and I'm gonna install the one that I like but you can choose the one you feel comfortable with so the first one is the KDE full which is basically well <laughs> as the name stands, the full, the very full version of the KDE that comes with all the software, all the dependencies and stuff that comes with the KDE usually. Oops, if I can start correctly, uh, if I can stop type correctly. <laughs> so I'm gonna leave all the. <laughs> All the commands I use in this video in the description down below, so don't worry about that. The first one, like I said, it's KD full. Put down your password, and as you can see, this is a huge, huge, huge <laughs> list of applications software and dependencies that it's going to be installed. This is not my favorite, let's say. Plus the size it's well here says 3.6 gigabytes, which is well a lot. <laughs> the next version that you can install is the KDE standard version that still comes with a lot of KDE software but it does not install well pretty much everything and you can install it with sudo apt install KDE dash standard and as you can see this is about 1.2 gigabytes still has a lot of software that needs to be installed and lastly i'm gonna show you the one that i personally like and i'm gonna really install in this video which is the kde dash plasma desktop you can install it with oops come on KD dash plasma dash desktop and this is basically the whitest version of them all if you may say that it still comes with a lot of software but comparing to the previous two it's not that bad so I prefer to install that one instead of the, uh, the first two and I still gonna remove some of the stuff that are installed by default but it's much better for me but if you are the one that prefers to use the very full version of the KD that's up to you so let's install it that might take a little while <clears throat> sorry that might take a little while so I'm gonna well speed up the video here and I'll come back when it's done now here is a little note 
that it says we are already using a display manager basically i am using the flagship cinnamon edition for installing the kde just click ok now it's gonna ask you which of the display managers it's going to be default if you like the sdm just choose sddm but i like to keep the ydm as default i choose that one and click ok and the installation continues All right, and the installation is finished. Now all you have to do is just log out of your system. Not here, might be here, yes. It's been a while since I've been using Cinnamon, so log out. And you should have, yes, right here. You have the option of choosing the Plasma X11. Just put down your password and wait for the Plasma to load. All right, we are running Plasma almost. Yes, wonderful. Let me just fix the resolution a little quick. All right, awesome. It looks pretty good, I may say. So congratulations, guys. You have the KDE version on your Linux Mint. Now you can start customizing it and installing some software the way you like it. It should not have a lot installed. Well, the version least that I installed which is pretty good I really like it and that's it that's all from me for today so I'll see you in the next one bye